in this unit we'll be discussing about some various contemporary issues the, in this chapter first of all we'll discussing about consolidation so presently there are 21 public sector banks in in india the plan of the government is to reduce the number of these banks to about 10 to 12 okay of which 3 to 4 will be like very big banks global sales banks so both the current finance minister and the rbi governor are in favor of consolidation in public sector banks and there were some reports that some banks will be merged like obc alhabad bank corporation bank and indian bank will be merged with pnb these are all news you know not confirmed but it may happen it may not happen but these are some reports they also report that union bank will absorb idea bank idba bank central bank and dena bank syndicate bank iob and uco bank will be merged with the canara bank bank of india will uh, grow by merging andhra bank bank of maharashtra and vijaya bank so all these are just reports and nothing official has come from rbi but you can understand the the plan of the government and rbi they are in favor of consolidation so the reasons why consolidation of banks is required is also an important question you have to be prepared with so in the indian context the reason why they are planning for consolidation is large banks will be having more financial strength and stability compared to small banks as you know banks are very vital institutions and failure of the bank will be having effect not just on the depositors of that bank but on the entire financial sector because all banks are interrelated okay so large banks will be in a much better position to deal with shocks and they'll be more strong financially larger banks can also better compete with global banks and there'll be cost reduction due to economies of scale there'll also be synergies due to merger weak ba weak banks and small banks are a burden to economy because they have high costs and low and they have a lot of loss making branches so that is why consolidation is preferred but there are some challenges for mergers so what are the challenges the biggest challenge will be regarding the staff because you might have observed that uh, in your own city there may take any busy area the most prominent business area business uh, locality you will observe that most banks have the branches there so it might be a case where uh, say pnb and corporation bank both have branches at the in the same locality say andheri mumbai and say now pnb and corporation bank have merged then it doesn't make sense for the combined entity to, to to have two branches in the same locality so there will be a lot of branches like this and they need to be shut down and then the staff working there they have to be relocated elsewhere okay so the challenge in bank merger will be one relocation and second there will also be reduction staff strength because the combined entity will be having synergies and it can manage with lesser staff so the uh, the excess staff has to be removed but that will be a problematic issue from the point of view of labor unions so employee unions will be protesting it so these sort of issues will be there there'll also be culture issues because employees of two different organizations with different cultures may find it difficult to work together and also the weak banks poor financials will impact the stronger banks financials for example uh, when five sbi associate banks have been merged with sbi the gross nps of this combined entity has increased from 7.23% to 9.04% similarly sbi's net profit was used to be uh, 2008-15 crores in the then uh, march quarter while the merged entity reported loss of 3300 crores so by the merger of weak banks the stronger bank may have to suffer financial loss as well okay so these are some of the problems of consolidation so in interviews they can ask questions like what are the reasons why consolidation of banks is required in the present indian context what are the challenges to bank mergers and they would ask you what are your views on bank consolidation whether you are for or against it's better to say you are for because that is the stand of the government and rbi okay they can give the reasons which we mentioned why consolidation is required